first of all this is my opinion and you know when i give my opinion do not accept my views if i am right then this will be the mind blowing information you ever got about ukraine because this ukraine is the birthplace of gog and magog almost 80% christian brothers and only 20% muslim brothers knows about the khazar tribes and the famous book the 13 tribes because we all know the khazar tribes is the real gog and magog and islam called ajuj and majuj so let me start from the beginning as i am going to bring multiple subject because everything is connected to make you understand how gog and magog are linked with this war in ukraine and what is the next possible move take a look on the image if it is true the territory now we called as ukraine was once the heart of the khazar that means this is the birthplace of gog and magog and this was called as khazar or caesar kingdom this kingdom was largely unknown to the general population until a author questler wrote about its history in his 1976 book the 13 tribes questler was a jewish novelist and the historian who were fascinated by his own ancestry as a khazarian if ukraine the birthplace of gog and magog then we can sure find any linked with today's ukraine war and we can also find the next move of ukraine war could would be a another world war which known as world war 3 or malhama or amagadan if our analysis is correct then the analysis said now they have someone in the white house according to the plans of antichrist the jar he is a part of their team joe biden as a president but he is an old man and there is a possibility that he may not survive for the second terms there is also possibility he might even die during this first term and then this kamla harish will become the president and i don't think they want to wage a big war against russia as a kamla harish as a president they want to provoke the war with russia of course but they don't want to take the blame for the war so they will provoke the war with russia sometimes during this presidency of joe biden if we correct then you have no time left before the great war took place it's around the corner and you know if us and the nato intervene in ukraine war then ukraine is the perfect place to start the amagadan or malhama or the great war let's go back in the book of god what they say about this according to the prophecy of torah and the bible the last war or the great war will be 9 minutes within 9 minutes the entire world will be perish we knows the quran is the last revelation of god and quran has limited and the appropriate words of god nothing more nothing less but i believe the torah and the bible has more information than the quran in example this story has mentioned in the bible torah and the quran i need you to just think about it the young man and the cave bible and torah how much more information than the quran so bible and torah and the other book of religion prophesied that the last war of bible called is amagadan or the people call it world war 3 will be 9 minutes that's gonna be a huge war in the world it's called gog and magog a very serious war and you remember gog and magog is a tribes and it's spread around the world meaning they present in china they present in iran they present in europe they present in pakistan they present in india they present in everywhere in the world so everyone will be involved in this war that's why it's called the war of gog and magog now we know the linkage between the gog and magog with the ukraine war also we know the possible next move of ukraine war look on the image if ukraine is the birthplace of gog and magog meaning they start the journey from here on ukraine so there is a possibility exist 
end of Gog and Magog will be start from here. Meaning, after this war, NATO backbone will be broken. That means a bad time start for the Gog and Magog. Because Allah says in Hadith Qudsi, which is direct speech of Allah, He said, I have created a creature of mine, none but only I can destroy them. Meaning, Allah directly speaking about the indestructible power of Gog and Magog. That's mean when they start the journey from Ukraine or the Khazaria, they never face the defeat in the lifetime of Gog and Magog until today, which about to occur in Ukraine. The actual defeat of Gog and Magog will be start from here by God's will. Conclusion This is our analysis and you may have different view from us. This is what I understand so far. Let me know your opinion on the comment section. And if you like this document, please do like and share to others.